these tabs map creator builds are getting insane. Somebody recreated the Reichstag in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. If you want to play this map, you can search for it like this and don't go anywhere because in this video, we're also gonna do some bridge battles as well as more bridge battles and some more bridge battles. Yeah, so quite a lot of bridge battles, but the Reichstag is first. So we have our Soviet army down here. Let's just get an absolutely massive Urad charge down the center. We'll get a bunch of Soviet conscripts in there. Good effort, lads. Let's get like a squad of Soviet shock troopers over here. These guys are gonna be like insane. Then just in front of these trenches, let's give them a couple of anti-tank guns. And then running out of the trenches, let's just like sporadically put like a bunch of units in here. This map is really well done, by the way. <laughs> On a scale of zero to spice, it's at spice. Deserters will be shot and survivors will be shot again. Oh, there's another trench there. I didn't even see that. In fact, what we'll do is we'll reserve this for the Germans and we'll get a German counter charge out of that trench. And let's get these guys like lined up in these ruins. So they're like kind of like the advanced scouting party. So I'm happy with the Soviets for now. I might come back and add some more units in a minute. But what we're going to do is we're going to put down the German defenders. And again, if I come all the way over to the very end, I believe, yes, let's get some of these puppies down. Let's get one on that side there. And then on the other side, we'll stick another one down there. Right at the back of the German fortifications is going to be a World War II general and let's put a banner bearer next to him just to hold him in place. Why is he so small? So for the German trench charge, let's get this guy out here. In fact, let's just get a line of them. I want this to be an absolute bloodbath over here. Now we'll also get a couple of anti-tank guns at the back of the map. Let's get one of those and then we'll also get one of these. I'm gonna put down some Luftwaffe units there. Makes absolutely no sense, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I like the look of the unit. And I almost forgot. Let's get some big old MG42s at the middle of the defense. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that for the German defense, but if you look at the top, the amount of units and the score, I think the Soviets are gonna need a few more units if they're gonna crack the Germans. Oh, maybe we could get like a bunch of Soviet Marines. That could be quite cool. They'll go like right at the back. They're like late to the party. Some Soviet Marines right at the back of the map. Also, they need a couple of machine gunners. That's a good point. Haven't put any of those down. And seeing as we put down some Luftwaffe pilots over here, let's put down some Soviet pilots again for absolutely no reason whatsoever. And there we go. I believe the battle lines have been set. This is going to get messy quickly and frankly my frame rates are probably going to die. Prepare yourself for Microsoft PowerPoint and let's begin the battle. It's not actually too bad. I do want to see these Soviets in the center here. They got into combat surprisingly. The tank is being pepper sprayed by Soviet shock troopers but surely that's not gonna kill him, right? We completely forgot the Marines have joined the battle although so it doesn't look like we missed much because, well, none of the Germans made it out. But they do still have their Katrusha. This could be the make or break unit, although they still haven't taken down either of the tanks. And the Katrusha might be about to kill itself, to be honest. Oh my, yep, there we go, called it. But no, the tank has been killed. And the other tank has also now been killed. The Soviets are moving into the battle here, slowly but surely, tucked away behind the map. But the Soviet Marines and shock troopers and machine gunners now moving up to the center plaza here and oh Okay, and they're dead. Let's get a little bit more of a bird's eye view perspective on what's going on here. Genuinely, I still think this could go either way. There's still Soviet units dribbling into the battle. This is actually entertaining content. Thank you, whoever made this map. Yeah, the Soviets again, still marching forward. Every time the MG-34, or sorry, MG-42 opens fire, it, it makes me smile a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna sit here and watch until he, oh, oh okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe I won't then. The guns have started to fall silent outside the Reichstag. Oh my god, that guy just got deleted. Yeah, these two guys, I think these two Soviets are gonna win it on their own. Oh, as soon as I said that one just dies immediately. The battle comes down to the battle of the machine guns. Oh, oh, oh. oh! <laughs> okay, he's dropped the cover again. Oh, you are making a terrible mistake. Oh my god. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna move this guy forward a little bit. I mean, we know who's won this battle. Let's, let's just, there we go. Okay, back to custom content. Let's see what we have got next.
Okay, so we've actually got a choice of bridge battles. We could do this bridge battle. We could do this one. Or maybe this one. Let's look what else we've got. I mean, we're going to do those bridge battles anyway. I just want to see what else we've got. Ah, yes. We're going to do some tabs CQB. You know what? Screw it. We're doing that now. So what you can see here is what appears to be like an underground bunker formation. And it's kind of like a sectional view. So imagine like you've carved off the roof. So you can see these pillars, right? So we got ammunition through here. We got the mess hole and I guess sleeping quarters through there. Uh, we got like the battle plan area. I really like that. It's a, such a nice touch actually. We're gonna start all the way down at the bottom of this trench. I'm gonna use one single unit and I'm gonna see if I can clear out the entire fortification. Okay so you can see I've dotted a bunch of German stay banners around the inside. I'm now gonna put some German units and let's make sure we mix it up a good bit. This is way too many units. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to kill all of these. Why am I doing this? Okay so this is the tabs World War II CQB map. I'm not convinced I can do this, but we're gonna try. I guess obviously we've got to get like a, one of the more powerful ones because otherwise it's just not gonna be possible. Let's just see if I can do it with a sniper rifle. Oh, wrong team. Let's see if I can do it with a sniper rifle. And if I can't, then I'll try something else. Okay, so now you understand kind of what I mean. I'm gonna go first person. Oh no, wow, I've got no health. I'm almost dead already and I'm stuck on a box. Oh, I killed the state banner. I realized a bit too late. Okay, I need a unit with a little bit more health than that. What about a machine gunner? Oh, I've still got barely any health. I thought this guy had... I thought he had loads of health, bro. Oh, I'll tell you what. Maybe I can give myself one medic. I'll give myself a cheeky little medic. And I'll be a captain. Not sure what that does, but it looks good. Oh, it's gonna be really... You know what? It's gonna be really annoying listening to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can't be bothered listening to that all the time. You know what? I'm not going to try the CQB. Let's put down General Patton and see how he does this. This is top tier content, boys. This is top tier content. And what are you talking about? If he dies, we're moving on to the next map because I'm sick and tired of this. I'll take control for a second. Oh, die. Oh, no. Not me. You. No, please. Please. Watch this. Oh, that didn't do much. Okay, I'm gonna let the AI do it. The AI seems a lot better at this than me, to be honest. Oh, this is something interesting. You won't see this on other people's YouTube channels because they make good content. Surely he's... There we go. Yeah, he killed himself. Right, we're moving on. So, about that bridge battle. Let's just do that. I mean, it's relatively self-explanatory. It's a battle in which there's a bridge. This bridge. So, what we will do instead is we will make this a British held bridge and the Germans are going to be trying to cross it to kill the Brits. Okay, so let's get a bunch of like anti-tank guns up on the hill here and we'll also put just a heap of standard riflemen along this kind of wall all the way along because the Germans are going to attack over the bridge but we'll also send down a raiding party over here. Now let's put down a bunch of like Australians and like uh, New Zealand troops. Let's just yeah let's just basically put down all of the commonwealth as cannon fodder so these guys will run down the middle to their inevitable death. Okay so this is what we've got for the British defenders on this side of the river. Now it's time to put the German formation down and remember they're going to be the attacking team. Although the map does kind of look like they should be the defenders, but you know, I'm invested now. Let's get ourselves another couple of German tanks. Yeah, okay, so the center formation. There's gonna be a couple of German tanks moving right down the middle here. And then like coming out of these positions, we'll also get like just a bunch of standard units. The two tanks with infantry in support over here, a bunch of German defenders who are gonna run over the trench and over the bridge. And then on the other side, we've got these German attackers who will also be crossing the river. Let's start the battle and see. Oh, I almost forgot to watch these guys oh well i mean they did their job they were supposed to be cannon fodder and cannon fodder they were doesn't look like anything's going to be stopping these german tanks from approaching the enemy why are my anti-tank guns not shooting them uh, okay, there we go. At least we got some artillery cover fire there. On the other side over here, the Germans seem to be getting up to the top, although they're getting stuck over here because there's not an entrance to get past these little barricades here. So the Brits might just be able to hold on to some sort of defensive formation here. But if they cannot take down these tanks, then they are probably going to lose the battle because rifle beats tank. Oh, is that going to be enough? The artillery, come on. There we go. The anti-tank gun did just get one of them. But how much longer is the anti-tank gun going to stay alive for? I'll tell you what, the Germans have actually run out of steam here. That tank 
has now gone down. Yeah, that was a messy battle. A very messy battle. Let's see what other maps we've got lingering around here. Oh, I mean, it is very tempting. There's a new D-Day map. It's not my D-Day map. I mean, even like the Isonzo. I know that's World War One, but still tempting. If you haven't seen my videos where I did this battle, as well as this battle, and this battle, and so many others, then make sure you subscribe. I'm going to be going through basically all of these maps, because they're all good. But which is the next best map for this video? Oh, you know what, actually? I know it's the World War One Isonzo map, but we're going to make it World War Two. So we got trenches over on this side here with a couple of wee cubby holes. Everyone loves a cubby hole. Is this another cubby hole? Yes, good effort, lads. And then they charge out of these trenches towards the hills. So again, we will put Italian defenders down. We're just going to make sure we do World War Two defenders. So there's a passageway up on this side here, which comes through the hills. And oh, it comes down into the bunker areas like this. That's pretty cheap. This looks nice. I really like the sandbag effect. And then the same round here. This looks like it could be another way up as well, actually. So the units again can come up here to access that same position where they'll get into this cave where the munitions are held. And they can also come round here, which I presume will take you to the rear of the map right down here. What we'll do is we'll put an Italian officer at that position. I know it would be Austro-Hungarian units, but I don't think I've got a good Austro-Hungarian faction. So I might just put the Italians again against the French and we'll call it an Alpine battle. Use your imagination. Let's start getting a couple of these boys down. This is gonna be really interesting. So I'll try and make the majority of the French attacking force melee so we can see the kind of the pathfinding of the units through the hills. I mean, it looks good, but it might not work. We'll also get a couple of snipers kind of dotted throughout the hill as well. Like maybe right at the top. Okay, so I'm relatively happy with the Italian defenders. We've got dug into the hill. And honestly, like when you look at it from this perspective, it really does look cool. Especially these guys like way up the top of the hillside that can just fire down onto the French troopers. This is going to be a pretty spicy battle. Now, the French army. So here we go. We're going to get down all of our charging units. And now we just need to find some melee. Come on, surely some of these guys. Ah, yes, there we go, there we go, there we go. They're just gonna dig the hillside apart. So if you didn't know what I was gonna do in this battle, uh, hopefully now at this point it's, it's gonna be pretty obvious. I've made sure to give them a couple of riflemen so they're not completely helpless, but as you can see, almost all of them are going to be wielding spades. And they're going to be charging the Alpine Mountains against a lot of riflemen and submachine gun. I mean, it's a big ask, but remember, deserters will be shot, Survivors will be shot again, and they'll find your family. So with that motivation in mind, are they up to the challenge? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's begin the battle. This is going to be an actual bloodbath here, by the way. I, I really hope this works well. I mean, straight away, you can see them charging over to the mountains and the defenders, they can all fire from their positions and it looks and works really, really well, actually. To be fair, some of the French have been already in combat here. They're gonna try and fight their way into that position. Okay, they're gonna definitely get in there. Let's see, have they managed to get up at any other position? Yeah. Yeah, the Italian soldiers are fighting for their life. This is gonna be a massive choke point over here. They've already taken down both these kind of two little trench areas here and are working their way up this hillside against these Italian soldiers. Uh, but this, I think they're running out of steam over here. The Italians might be able to bag the victory. Let's see how the tunnel rats do. Come on, come on. Okay, yeah, it's turned into a bloodbath. The French melee units have managed to capture that one. And now they're moving around and up the hillside where they're actually yeeting themselves over the other side. Right, those guys are now repathing somewhere else. Where are they going? I love how they're not even using like any of the carved in paths. They're just kind of making their own way over the hill. Has anyone come through this tunnel yet? No, I believe this tunnel is untraversed so far because they're probably busy up top yet. I think the French are running out of steam here, to be honest. Oh my god, these guys legitimately survived that? Look at- Oh, that was probably a mistake, mate, if I'm honest here. Oh, he's coming. He's coming in. Oh, he's dodged. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Did they both die there? That was- I mean, they went out with style. I'll give them that. If they keep jumping out of position, they're gonna isolate themselves and then they're gonna get killed. Yeah, oh, okay, wow, they, they dealt with that guy pretty easy, though. Oh, what's happening over there? Oh, okay, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I had forgotten about all this down here. It's not looking good for them, is it? Let's, let's just be honest about that. It's, it's not looking great. Yeah, they're moving in to finish the job, aren't they? Yes, okay. Honestly, the French did a pretty good job there, but they just ran out of steam right at the end. Well, I mean, at least they didn't retreat. 
It, it's a start. I mean, to be fair, if they'd retreated against the Italians, that would have been extra embarrassing. And frankly, to be honest, I'm surprised the French didn't retreat, but the Italians also didn't change team. Crazy. That's why it's totally accurate, Battle Simulator. So, once again, if you want to see me play any of these maps, then subscribe. And if you have a map you want me to play, put my name in the title, because that's how I search for maps to find ones that the community has made for me. If you want to give me suggestions, then join my Discord, which is linked in the description. And that's it for today, a goodbye.